Good evening. First at 6 o'clock, Mystical, a well-known rapper on the wrong side of the law tonight, his third rape arrest over the past two decades. Tonight, Mystical, whose real name is Michael Tyler, is being held without bond at the Ascension Parish Jail. WBRZ first to break the high-profile rapper's arrest on our news app this morning, and the investigative unit first to publish the disturbing details on what landed him in jail. Here is our chief investigator, Chris Nakamoto. Michael Sylvia, a woman claims she was raped, robbed, and held against her will by a man whose fame did not provide him any favors. Tonight, Mystical sits in the Ascension Jail accused of charges that could put him away for life if he's convicted. Fifty-one year old Michael Tyler isn't known to many by his real name. The music you just heard got him famous. His stage name, Mystical. Tonight, a woman alleges he raped her at his home on Saturday in Prairieville, robbed her, and held her against her will. Two individuals they met up at his home to discuss some finances. Um, and at some point, that uh, conversation went very, very far left. Um, she said that he seemed fine when they were initially talking. At some point, he stepped away, maybe to the restroom. He, came back a completely different person, um, and that was when he began to come on to her. This warrant for Mystical's arrest details exactly what he's accused of. The woman had cuts, bruises on her arms, leg, face, mouth, and neck and hair yanked from her scalp. The warrant alleges Mystical punched her, pulled her braids from her head, took her phone and keys to prevent her from leaving, choked her to the point she could not breathe, and forcibly raped her. The victim alleges Mystical verbally berated her, spit in her face, and threw rubbing alcohol on her, claiming that she had bad spirits on her, that it would help cleanse. No one came to the door at his home on Retreat Lane in Prairieville, but neighbors on this quiet street told me he was always cordial and waved, but he also kept to himself and was a recluse. In 2014, we caught up with him on a ride along with deputies as they checked on convicted sex offenders, which he is. How are you doing? At the time, he told us he knew how important these checks are, especially when sex offenders are in your neck of the woods. I have the same fears that most parents have. You know, I don't, I don't have no offense against no, you know, young kids and nothing like that. Don't just don't make my offense no better. But still, you know, you, I mean. Protect your kids, man. Protect your kids. That's, you know, our kids are the most important thing that we have. He also said being a sex offender had not stopped him from living. I don't do the pity party thing, you know. We, I'm, I have to participate in sex offender groups and stuff like that uh, twice a month. You know, it don't, it don't stop your life, man. Despite his fame, the sheriff's office says he's not being treated any differently tonight. He didn't show the victim any sympathy, and he doesn't get any sympathy or special treatment. So he will be in general population or, or will be incarcerated just like anyone else. Mystical has been charged twice before for rape, once in 2002, another in 2017. The first one resulted in a six-year prison conviction and forced him to register as a sex offender. Three weeks ago, deputies were also called to Mystical Street after a man says a woman came to his door alleging she was beaten by the rapper. He has a bond hearing tomorrow afternoon. Michael?